What's going on, Facts family? It's your boy Ant, Grabe32 on Instagram, and today we back with Ahsoka, Episode 5, Shadow Warrior. Let's go! <laughs> and yeah, guys, thank you so much to everybody who's been coming on this journey with me, man. It's been amazing to jump into the Star Wars universe with you guys, especially this part of the Star Wars universe. This series has been so good so far. There's a few things that I have to catch on with because there's gaps of information that I'm missing. But otherwise from that, the story is flowing, the characters are doing what they're supposed to do, and I'm enjoying the ride. If you'd like to support this channel, hit that join button. Become a member of the family so you can get early and exclusive content. And if you like what we're doing here, please remember to do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Now without any further ado, let's... Yeah, we back on this joint. The droid is the only one left on the planet, right? On this Do ship. a full sweep and report back. Mom, can I come out now? Well, if you will get back in the joint. Yeah, it's a trainer droid. Hu Yang? Hu Yang, that's his name. I keep forgetting. I told them to stay together, but they never listen. Facts. They never listen. Too hard, boy. Ahsoka. Part five. Shadow Warrior. Oh, here we go. We in here. World between worlds. You look the same. You look old. <laughs> well, that happens. You lost the fight. I don't remember. Trust me. You lost. I seen that you did. Phelan Skull. So you do remember. There we go. That's good. Why? It means you still have a chance. A chance at what? Tell me what's going on. I'm here to finish your training. Huh? One is never too old to learn, Snips. Ooh, I like the scar just now. Hey, this is actually pretty good CGI. A lot of people was talking All shit right. about it. All right. What's the lesson? Master. Live or die. I've heard that before. We got the blue lightsaber too. I like that. Okay. Come on, man. I don't even want y'all to cut away. Anything? Senator Organa says she can only give us cover for so long. If we stay out here any longer without reporting in, people are gonna start asking questions. Facts. Mom, not now, Jason. Well, we might benefit from people asking a few more questions. I think Jason know what's up. But, Mom, there's something about the water. Who? It's force water? No, listen to the waves. General? Nah, that sound like the force is in the waves. I heard that. Okay. Do I have the force? What are we listening for? Don't you hear it? The waves crashing? No, the lightsabers. That boy is good. Well, they going crazy in there. Crazy for sensitive. Well, we're doing it again. Yang, you're with me in the ghost. Right away. Ah. What just happened? Jason has abilities. His father, Kanan Jarrus, was a Jedi. Okay. The man says, shit, I don't be understanding that Jedi nonsense anyway, but we up. Ooh, that's nice. That's prequels, Anakin, with the. Looks like you don't have much left to offer. 
I haven't taught you everything yet. He cut the bridge? What the hell is going on? This looks like that one planet with the mist from like the new trilogy. The one that Luke was standing on with the force projection and that's how they knew he wasn't there. Forward! Live action Clone Wars, bro. Bro, why am I having the neck tingles and I ain't even watch a joint like that, bro? This is awesome, G. This is the Clone Wars. I just said that. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, Clone Wars Anakin. This is one of our first missions. Your problem. Master! Wait! You got the green joint! <laughs> what about my training? This is your training. Right. I'm enjoying this way too much. Man, this this is madness right here. Give us like all the Boba Fett's. Yeah, this is this is a rough one for her. Come on, Snips. The battle's not over yet. Is there a problem? We lost so many. Now we get the close up, huh? It was my fault. They were following my orders. I got them killed. Come here. As Jedi, it's our job to lead. That doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. But our mistakes cost lives. That doesn't bother you? Of course it does. Liar! This isn't what I trained for. You must adjust to the times. When Obi-Wan taught me, we were keepers of the peace. Mm-hmm. Win this war. I have to teach you to be a soldier. That is a fact. Is that all I'll have to teach my own Padawan one day? How to fight? Do you even want a Padawan? <laughs> you know, teaching's not all it's cracked up to be. Really? I'm joking. You're joking. What do you want? You want me to be more serious? I prefer it. I'm teaching you how to lead. How to survive. And to do that, you're going to have to fight. That's a fact. They never changed their mind. This mission is unauthorized. Yeah. Some general I am. You do things your way because you care. This is why people like you. Ha 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 Yang, where are they? People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, no. Normally, no. Especially with Lady Tano. Right. Yeah, she is tenacious. So was her master. Yeah? Yeah. What was he like? Intense. <laughs> so intense. Yes, Jason. That's an amazing cut. Hey, hey, ooh. ah! Ooh. It, was that animated just now? Hey, yo! Bro, is they splitting between like animation? Nice work, Commander. We'll secure the perimeter. Come on, come on, let's go! Bro, this is like ridiculously trippy, bro. He did it on purpose to make it look like the 3D Clone Wars. 
You're crazy. <laughs> and it's working. She just stopped fighting. This was the siege of Mandalore. Mm. We had parted ways by now. Looks intense. It was. Intense. You're a warrior now. As I trained you to be. Is that all? Mm. Ahsoka, within you will be everything I am. Just as I inherited knowledge from my master and he from his. Yeah. You are part of a legacy. Whether you want it or not. But my part of that legacy is one of death. In war. But you're more than that. Because I'm more than that. Are you though? You are more Anakin, but more powerful and dangerous than anyone realized. <laughs> it's the music. Is that what this is about? You've learned nothing. Back to the beginning. I gave you a choice. Live. Oh, red lightsaber or die. Or die. <sighs> Incorrect. <laughs> That's hey. Hey. Oh. Dead if you wanted to. God, Lee. <laughs> he kicked the shit out of Shorty. That's not. You lack conviction. Yeah, intense is the word. Bro, this episode is crazy. Hey. Oh, buddy. Time to die. That boy is good. I was slick. Look at his eyes, though. I choose to live. Mm, that's lit. I can see through the, the, the face a little bit. Okay, it's slipping a little bit, but it looks good enough. There's hope for you yet. Does he disappear? Oh, that's tough. Anakin. How does she get back though? Does she just jump off? Like, how is it fading? Oh, now she's gonna be back in the water. That's dope. It's a cool shot. She's messed up for it. Like mentally she probably good. Physically she hurt. You ain't even spitting up no water. Match the seats. <laughs> and Sabine? No, we have not found her. We were hoping you could explain what happened. Oh, nah. She knows she gone with him. <laughs> Young Jason. You did? Yeah, lightsabers. Who are you fighting with? Hey. I've been in a starship before. A Jedi starship? Come along. I'll show you the training room. <laughs> you, have, you know how to build a lightsaber? Yes. Will you teach me? No. 
Why not? That's when I had left an impression on it. Like a memory. So we'll know what happened. Oh yeah, she could do it too, just like Bailey. deal with this you can work out a way to find sabine y'all gotta hold that l for real are we gonna see what goes on with sabine and Balin and them in this episode or nah activity or of Grand Admiral Thrawn's return? No. Then I'm afraid there's nothing more I can do. The Senate Oversight Committee is going to determine if your command should be permanently suspended. Mm. You are going to need her testimony to help you. I'm sorry. I don't know how you score this, but we're losing right now. These assholes, man. That's why y'all failed and right got now. blown up by the First Order. I know how to follow Sabine. We on the purgle with it? We out of here before they pull up. Ooh. Hey, giant space whales. Start riding with him. Ah, damn, that's the bobble whale right there. Wish me luck. She about to go back on the on the outside again. Shit is highly unrealistic, but I ain't gonna say nothing because I'm looking at giant space whales. But she would have got blown off that joint. <laughs> Shooting as she opened the door. All them clothes would have got ripped off. Ha ta ta. to halt your approach to the planet until I receive confirmation that the general has indeed completed her mission. <laughs> Captain, the reason we are here is because there was no mission. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> Blame the nature of this mission, or I will see to it that you are stripped of your rank. Okay, but you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> yeah, tell her all that shit. Is she really gonna talk to them? That's the idea. You definitely could do that. It's just like the stories you told me. How the whales took Ezra and the bad guys far, far away. That's some real shit that happened. They'll take Ahsoka to where Ezra is? That's the hope, kiddo. Message! Where it goes. That's better than going nowhere. Uh, I 
mean, that means the story could go anywhere, but like, they gonna take us there. Captain Gerard, this is General Sindula. I'd move your fleet out of there if I were you. Yeah, the whales is coming. Evasive maneuvers that's to clear up their path. Nuts. That's like ridiculous. Come on, open up your Pergo Pass. I right, take take the whole thing with him. How are we gonna visualize this though? They are shocked. Look at you. I'm shocked about what you look like. Charging up. Sorry you can't make the trip. That's no, alright. Oh, she Jason's not going? too young to travel between galaxies. Sounds right. Kara, I'll find them. I promise. May the force be with you. Oh, I felt that. Naughty. Hey, those pergolas tough. Hey, yeah, guys, that was another amazing episode of Ahsoka, man. And this one made you feel so many different emotions, man. It brought the shock. It brought the awe. It brought the feels. It gave the real connective tissue between all of the time spans and different shows that are connected to make Ahsoka possible. You understand what I'm saying? Like, listen, man, we got Anakin Skywalker. That connects us to the prequels. And it gave us a uh, halfway between the prequels and the Clone Wars. Like, it's, it was all one, and I love how they visualized that because at some points, it was looking 3D animated, and I know that was done on purpose to give you the hints of the Clone Wars 3D, and it worked perfectly in my eyes, man. I love this episode. Like, I know I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this because, like, it's a fact of what I've just seen. There's nothing I have negative to say about this episode. Well, maybe a little bit of Hayden Christensen CGI from like time to time, but for the most part, like a good like 85% of this, like the CGI on his face was perfect. The, the de-aging was really good. The lightsabers and the fight scenes in this was amazing. It harkens back to the Clone Wars and to the prequels. And some people say these are the two like staples, the live action version and the animated version of like the best versions of lightsabers and lightsaber battles that they've seen. And just how the people move with it, the things they could do with the force during these time spans were just perfect. And what we've seen in here was just a, a real good encapsulation of it. I love the flickers between Darth Vader and Anakin. I love how they did that. I love the going back and forth between the blue and then the red lightsaber. I like the changes in the face that happened throughout that time, the changes in the eyes. And I think Ahsoka shared those same eyes at one point in there, but like for a split second, either that or that was the glow off of the red lightsaber that was like making her reflect his image back towards him. And I really did appreciate that the whole learning in half deaf montage that was just perfect in my eyes the actress that played young ahsoka she really did her job there she made me believe that she was really conflicted she's amazing what i just seen on the phone just now is that she was the same actress that was in endgame and she had another role that's in barbie and now she's coming in here killing this joint so she's doing an amazing job she came in and killed it as she should Everybody in this joint knocked it out of the park. Really appreciate Hera. Now you understand why her son was there. Her son is the guiding rod to the force because he's so force sensitive. He's extra force sensitive. I think he might be more force sensitive than Ahsoka, even though throughout this episode, you see how much in tune with the force Ahsoka is. So much so that she floated into the world beyond worlds just because she was about to die you know what i mean like instead of her directly dying like her force the force sealed her up under the water and like transported her there because she needed to learn a lesson to see if she was wanted to really live or die that's some whole next stuff that i'm really gonna have to dig into and find out if that happened before or this is just a one-off because i know that feloni is known for his world building and how he expands on the star wars mythos so i want to know if this part was taken from his part was taken from his world in the past he's adding it on now or it's taken from somewhere else 
that this could happen to somebody. But yeah, you gotta give you gotta give Hayden Christensen his props, man. He's coming back. What he did in the Obi Wan Kenobi show that was to be applauded, even though the show wasn't as great as we wanted it to be. And then he comes in here and knocks this one out of the park. He gave us all the shades of this character that we wanted to see and we really understood his descent just through this episode you see it in a little bit of dialogue in the looks and more so in the action how he battles when he has this lightsaber versus when he has that lightsaber and it was just a a different level of connectivity that a lot of people were to have with this series because because of the time gap between all of the different parts of it it's weird some people don't have that emotional connection because these movies are old, these movies were bad, but like I think this is a good medium, and I think this works double time connecting the prequels in the original trilogy and then doubling back into the new trilogy, showing how these people fell with all of the hubris up there leaking in class, going right into the first order, knocking stuff out. You understand what I'm saying? So I really do appreciate what they're doing here. This is amazing. This is a 10 out of 10 episode for me. This is a series that started kind of slow for me. I really had to get into it because I didn't know that much. But right now, they're running. We only got three episodes left. So how are we going to wrap all of this up? What's going on with Sabine? Where did Balin and them go to? Are we going to find Ezra? Is Thrawn going to pull up during all of this? What's going to happen when we get to this new universe? And I think these are the questions that we're meant to have. But yeah, guys, jump down in the comments and let me know what you think, man. What's your favorite part about this episode, man? What did you think about Anakin? How did you think that young Ahsoka did in her role here? And how do you think that older Ahsoka did when she was confronted with her master? Because I think all of those scenes were amazing. I want to know what your thoughts are. And also... I don't know if we're actually going to go back and see what the ramifications will be for Hera and her group, but where do you think the next episode is going to go? I, I don't watch the previews for the next coming week, so I'm going in fresh, but don't tell me if you did, but put your best guess on where do you think we're going next. And yeah, guys, but go ahead and hit that join button. Become a member of the family so you can get early and exclusive content. And please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know, and it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. It's just like the stories you told me. How the whales took Ezra and the bad guys far, far away.